Heart disease and diabetes go hand in hand, triggering a downward spiral of medication and increasingly complex health problems. So today, we're going to look at six of the worst foods for diabetes and blocked arteries. We'll discuss excellent strategies to dampen the negative effects of certain foods. One so-called healthy alternative that actually destroys gut bacteria, as well as tasty ways to enjoy your favorite foods without compromising your health. Stick around until the end because we've got two free gifts that will help you fight heart disease naturally. And remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Our first food is a true wolf in sheep's clothing, fruit juice. Sure, it's got vitamins, but fruit juice is also loaded with sugar. In fact, a single glass of juice has the same amount of sugar as four oranges. Plus, it's missing something critical. Fiber. Fiber slows the absorption of sugar, keeping your blood glucose steady, as well as protecting gut health, which we'll discuss in a second. Drinking juice is like injecting sugar straight into your bloodstream. It's quickly absorbed and your body scrambles to produce insulin, the hormone that acts like a key, unlocking muscle cells and allowing glucose to be used as energy. The thing is, when you consume too much sugar, your body releases more and more insulin. Have you ever experienced the crash, an overwhelming tiredness after eating a ton of sugar? This fatigue sets in when your body overcompensates with insulin, actually causing blood sugar to drop, leaving you feel sluggish and worn out. If your blood glucose spikes too often, your cells stop responding to insulin properly. This is insulin resistance, the first step of type 2 diabetes. According to research published in the British Medical Journal, each additional serving per day of fruit juice is associated with a 5% increased risk of type 2 diabetes. And remember, a standard serving is much less than most people think. But that's not all. Elevated glucose also damages blood vessels, triggering inflammation in your arteries, causing them to become stiff and brittle as the artery walls become damaged. From here, plaque builds up to repair the damage, which is how arteries become blocked. Regular blood sugar spikes also lead to nerve damage, blindness, Alzheimer's disease, and kidney damage. On the other hand, when you eat whole fruit, you're getting fiber, along with the natural sugars. This results in not only a slower rise in blood sugar, but it also feeds the good bacteria in your gut. Your gut microbiome is responsible for 70% of your immunity, as well as synthesizing vital nutrients and protecting against infectious diseases, inflammatory bowel disease, metabolic syndrome, autoimmune diseases, allergies, cardiovascular diseases, and even mental health conditions like depression through the gut-brain axis. Gut health is crucial, and fruit juice isn't your friend. If you choose to drink juice, make your own or go for freshly squeezed to at least avoid added sugars and chemicals. Try diluting it with water and adding a little squeezed lemon juice. Lemon juice has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, lowering the risk of diabetes and artery damage. Or eat a pre-juice buffer. Consuming protein and healthy fat beforehand can lessen the blood sugar spike. Think nuts, avocado, or a slice of cheese. Next, just like fruit juice, bread has become a normal part of life. But lurking beneath that crust is a major problem. Refined carbohydrates. Thanks to the controversial USDA food pyramid, we've been encouraged to eat refined carbohydrates. But do so with caution. Refined carbohydrates in bread, pasta, and even white rice have been stripped of their natural fibers. This leaves behind simple carbohydrates, which your body breaks down almost as quickly as sugar. The result? A rapid surge in blood glucose. As we discussed, this sudden spike forces your pancreas to work overtime, pumping out insulin, leading to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, 
inflammation, and blood vessel damage. Additionally, cardiology researchers believe that a protein called gliadin, found in modern wheat, may cause leaky gut syndrome. When this happens, the lining in your intestine becomes damaged, allowing toxins and bacteria to leak into your blood, causing systemic inflammation, autoimmune conditions, and chronic fatigue. A damaged gut lining can also interfere with nutrient absorption, resulting in deficiencies like anemia and further exacerbating heart problems. If you love your bread, burgers, or rice, We've researched the best alternatives that don't cause damage. Watch our video on the 8 best bread alternatives for heart health. We'll leave a link to that in the description box. At number 4 we have cookies and pretzels. An absolute disaster for blood. Beyond refined carbs, they're typically loaded with added sugars, trans fats, and chemical preservatives, making them last longer on the shelf at the cost of your health. The truth is, here we're talking about processed food, industrial baked goods, frozen dinners, packaged noodles, salad dressings, and sauces. Beyond spiking blood glucose, the chemicals in these foods have long-term effects, from disrupting your gut bacteria to increasing your body's toxic load. It's not luck of the draw that we can't get enough of these foods. They literally light up the pleasure centers in our brains. Industrial food corporations pour billions of dollars into testing formulas, searching for what's known as the bliss point, the perfect combination of sugar, salt, fat, and artificial chemicals. They want you to eat just one more, then another, and then another. That's their job, to trigger your pleasure chemicals and make you want more so they make more money. It's not your fault, but it's important to be aware that this is going on. If you're looking for a snack, it's far better to pick something natural, like nuts and seeds, berries, apple slices with almond butter, broccoli, or carrots dipped in hummus, or the desserts we'll discuss next. The general rule is to avoid the center aisles of the supermarket and shop around the outside where the real food is. Likewise, microwave popcorn might seem like a convenient snack, but popping your own kernels is much better, to avoid the toxic combination of chemicals and trans fats. And if you decide to eat cookies, cakes, or pizza, make them from scratch. The extra effort might just tip the scales in your favor. The thing with diabetes and heart disease is that damage occurs slowly over time, but most people don't realize until something goes wrong. And once that happens, it's a domino effect, impacting the liver, pancreas, and kidneys. Not to mention destroying energy levels, leading to a cycle of sickness and medication dependence. Food production has changed dramatically in the past few decades, and being aware of what's in your food can make a world of difference. Before we get to the worst three, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease, something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. And could you do us a favor and click the subscribe button below? Okay, let's get back to the video. If juice is a tsunami of sugar, then deep-fried foods are an oil slick on your arteries. Deep-fried foods are typically loaded with toxic trans fats, skyrocketing your risk for diabetes, cancer, and artery disease. Furthermore, the high temperatures used in frying can create harmful compounds like acrylamide. These nasty compounds flood your body with inflammation and seriously damage cells. It's a chain reaction, Consuming these foods leads to weight gain, damaged cholesterol, and increased blood sugar, all contributing to many diseases. Instead of deep frying, use an air fryer, which gives a remarkably similar crunch, or oven bake. Using healthier ingredients such as sweet potato for fries, spices instead of breadcrumb coatings, and olive oil. If you're not sure about which oils to use, watch our video on the disturbing truth about cooking oils, 
This will give you a clearer picture of which oils can help and which cause harm. We'll leave a link in the description. At number 2, the dangers of alcohol are multifaceted. First and foremost, excess alcohol can drastically disrupt blood glucose control. Your liver plays a vital role in glucose and cholesterol regulation. But when you drink alcohol, liver function is reduced because your liver prioritizes ethanol, which it sees as a toxin. Additionally, alcohol promotes inflammation throughout the body, which can accelerate damage to arteries. While some studies suggest red wine may reduce the risk of atherosclerosis, heavy consumption is linked with numerous health issues, including high blood pressure, heart failure, stroke, and cardiomyopathy. One study found that regular heavy drinking more than doubles the risk of chronic kidney disease, an organ that doesn't get much attention, but can have serious consequences for insulin function and blood pressure. Most experts recommend a limit of one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. A drink is quantified as 12 ounces of beer, 4 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of spirits. At number one, the single worst food is sugar, as well as artificial sweeteners. Sugar is the number one cause of diabetes, whether it's in the form of refined carbohydrates, fruit juice, or candy. However, sugar's reach extends far beyond the obvious culprits like soda and sweetened coffee. It hides in many processed foods, sneaking into sauces, dressings, and even breads, often in the form of high fructose corn syrup or other sweeteners. Foods marketed as low fat are particularly deceptive as they often contain more sugar to compensate for the reduction in fat which generally isn't a problem anyway. And what about zero-calorie sweeteners? While they previously thought to help, research suggests that they actually do more harm than good. Sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose affect hormones that regulate blood sugar, such as glucagon-like peptide 1 and glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. What's more, Artificial sweeteners have been shown to change the bacteria in the gut. A number of studies have linked these sugar substitutes to a greater risk of heart disease, stroke, and even cancer. It's crucial to read labels carefully, especially if it's a product labeled as sugar-free or fat-free. The main focus is to stay away from highly processed foods and chemical additives. Instead, experiment with natural flavors like avocado and banana chocolate mousse, fruit and berries as an everyday snack, or naturally tangy and polyphenol-rich hibiscus tea, instead of sugary drinks. Watch our other videos for more info on these. We really hope you found this useful. Click the like and subscribe buttons to see more on these topics.